Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Ramoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. This is the podcast where we have digital discussions from the worlds of social media, pop culture, and sometimes sports, but Today we're specifically talking about the web uh, web series um, industry, and we're talking specifically about one fresh, hot new web series that launched a couple of days ago. We're talking about my roommates and escort, and I am thrilled to be with the directors and creators and stars of uh, my roommates and escort. We're with Katie Elman and uh, Trish Rainoni. Girls, welcome to Pop Alternative. Hello. Thank you for having us. <laughs> no problem. So um, right off the bat, um, my roommates and escort. We, uh, I had a privilege to watch the show. Um, I really enjoy it. Some great, great stuff. Um, talk a little bit about how that came to be. Um, you guys always want to maybe make a web series. Like, how did that come to be? Because I understand you are both really heavily involved with a lot of different aspects of the show. So how did that go about? Um. So we met at a mutual friend's birthday party, January 2016, mm-hmm. and bonded over being out of work actors, not getting the opportunities we wanted. So we started writing. Mm-hmm. We decided to write a web series. Yeah. Two days later, we were in the coffee shop, mm-hmm. and um, we just seemed to have like a good chemistry for, well, in the writing room, mm-hmm. and uh, things just started flowing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, it's a brand new show, like I said, just uh, got posted about three days ago. Um, and, uh, you know, can you actually give us a little bit of a, like a synopsis of what the show is for people who haven't checked it out? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, uh, my character, Heather, um, I'm Trish. My character, Heather, she puts out an ad for a roommate. Uh, she needs a roommate last minute. And she's from Sault Ste. Marie, smaller city. Um, this cool girl comes along, Kesha. Cool, Kesha. She's kind of sketchy. Um, As is Heather. Yeah, she, they, they have their flaws. And uh, she moves in to Heather's apartment, mm-hmm. and she may or may not be an escort. Heather's kind of like a really bad Nancy Drew trying to figure it out. And then Kesha more or less ruins Heather's life. <laughs> and Heather's character, like Trish, like you put, you, you're so like innocent. You know what I mean? Like the first like time where you meet Kesha, you're just so like happy, perky. You don't know what's going on. Like it's such a yeah. refreshing role. It must have been fun to play Heather. It's so much fun being Heather. I feel like she's like my younger sister or me, like a few years ago. I I just I enjoy playing her because I feel like she she is just she's sweet. Mm-hmm. And I love Kesha. They were just such fun characters to play. Mm-hmm. And, and how did the um, the concept about making a show about someone whose roommate is an escort come to be? That came to be. Like, how did that happen? Is there like a funny story behind that? Because you guys both started to kind of have the biggest <laughs> smile on their face, and you're both really giggly. So I'm, I'm curious. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not based on anyone in particular. Yeah. We've had a lot of roommates, so. Um, <laughs> Just, I don't know, you're living with someone, you're not necessarily friends, but you kind of wonder sometimes about, not even, our imaginations just came up with this, because we're like, because we have lived with people where we're like, this person's sketchy, like, what are they up to, what are they doing, why are they mm-hmm. coming and going, and who's coming in the house tonight, who is this person, like, why are you sneaking out the back door, and I don't know, it's just kind of <laughs> our <laughs> You just don't know until you live with someone, and we've had roommates do weird things. Yeah, us. we've had between us, we've had quite a few roommates. So yeah, it was easy to come up with some sort of weird, um, two different, very different people under one roof kind of situation. Because yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, we just thought it would be funny. Yeah, and there are certain things that have happened, like certain things in this show are based on reality, but taken from like different. Yeah, and stuff. But there's actually, it's pretty grounded in its own weird way. Mm-hmm. And Be surprised. People will vitamins. Yes. <laughs> oh, that scene. That that was, 
that that was crazy with Natasha, who was also in Killjoys. Um, and that's my next question. Like, you guys have had um, some pretty. It's a pretty strong cast for for a web series. How did that come to be? I mean, I know that you know Ellen Dubin is is in it, and she's in my favorite movie of all time, Napoleon Dynamite. That's your favorite movie? I would yeah, never yeah. guess that. It's my favorite movie. I love that movie. That's my favorite movie too. That's awesome. So it must have been so cool to be on set and be like, wow, like you were in my favorite movie and you're on my web series. Yes. Yeah. Must have been surreal. Yeah. And she was so prepared and professional mm -hmm. and just a delight to work with. We had a great yeah. I, I directed the show as well. And um, she was just like awesome she like took my notes really well and she's so talented mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah she is oh, yeah she's mm -hmm. amazing mm -hmm. she's just she's great like in personal life and on the screen but yeah we got a lot of like great actors bobby mm -hmm. del rio is a really great friend of ours uh but david sparrow Juan PJ carlos Lisa, Vez, pj Steph um, baird. stephanie baird um, Jane Luke, so Angela Ash. Yeah, all yeah, of them. Them. amazing. Yeah, once you start naming them, it's just never can name all them. I know they're, they're all, all amazing. We got lucky. And yeah. you know, it's you know day three since it's been posted, and the numbers have been really good because that's some of the things I kind of. <laughs> yeah, that's my real life roommate in the background. <laughs> we still have roommates, yeah. <laughs> and surprisingly, we're not roommates, although we should be. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? I can't believe I didn't think I was gonna to ask you that question. But I'm gonna yeah. So you're not roommates. You could have well, you you we you, 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 you could have fooled me. Lovers, um, we're always together, but <laughs> believe it or not, we live in separate residences. We do with roommates. Although we did shoot the show in my apartment, which is where we are right now. Mm -hmm. Oh um, yeah, we're on set. We're guys. like technically on set. <laughs> oh wow! Cat? Yeah, sure. Messy, but this is where I live. Oh, wow, <laughs> behind the scenes, pop alternative by Ruben and Escort. This is awesome. I, yeah, I love that the the painting on the wall is crooked. It, it, it adds like a nice touch. I never <laughs> fix it. I just don't. I think it's amazing and quirky. Yeah, and I like it. So I I kind of. I'm gonna move in. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm moving today. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of let you off the hook with the easy questions, but now we're going to get into kind of the harder questions. Might may need to think about answers because they're kind of more like complex, longer questions. So um, it's it's no surprise that the social, like the social media and the web series landscape, it's huge. So many people have podcasts. So many people have a web series. Um, they're all over the place. One can argue that it's an oversaturated market, right? So my roommates and escort, I mean, Katie and Trish, um, what would, could you tell our viewers that you honestly think makes it different from other shows out there that would make someone click on your show over someone else? Is it kind of the tonality of it? Is it kind of the concept? Is it the acting that it kind of shows like downtown Toronto? Like anything specifically about that? I think, okay, I think the title is like kind of intriguing. Mm -hmm. Um. And it's also written by and directed by women, which isn't always isn't always the most common thing. And our mm -hmm. cast is actually like fifty percent male, fifty percent female, and it's pretty diverse as well. Oh wow! Um, we're pretty proud of that. Actually, it was important to us. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we changed one of the characters um, from being a male character to a female, like Angela Asher's character in the bar, um, for example. That was. Originally, I my character Heather meets a guy that she really likes in the bar. Yeah, he's supposed to be like the that character was supposed to be like the dream guy. He was like a dentist and like really good looking. Mm. Oh, wow. And then we were like, no, this yeah. should be a female. We, like more, she should be females. a boss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we rewrote it. Yeah, so we purposely did make it like 50-50, equal opportunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's really yeah. interesting. That's a that was a good answer. Like, on, on Family Feud, good answer, girls. Good answer. Oh, hey! But I also think, like, the show's fun. I think, it like, is. it's a fun... I think it's a fun, lighthearted comedy. I think there's a lot of kooky characters in kind of funny situations. So yeah. I hope people just, like, like it and, yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, it's fun to make. So yeah. I they think it's fun to watch. <laughs> yeah. So right now, the series just dropped on YouTube. Um, 
all the links we're gonna be posting them in our um youtube channel description so people could check it out as well because cross promotion is very important and uh you know now I'm sure marketing and getting out there and press is kind of like on your mind right now. Um, and I saw, you know, John Doyle wrote a fantastic review about your show and you're on Pop Turnative tonight. You were on uh, Maple Syrup Shots with our friend Neil and Dave. Um, I've been on that show too. Great show. So like I, I it's so Canadian, it's like one of the most Canadian things on the internet and I love every yeah. second about it. Um, but that's my question. I mean, obviously the the approach is to get, you know, the bigger networks, the bigger press, you know, the, you know, CBC, CTV, um, you know, Netflix and get all those big networks talking about your show. But I mean, we've had this talk like from the sports angle, but you could apply it to the entertainment and t television and web series. It's like, you know, there's all the, there's a lot of more like fan blogs and smaller podcasts that are not really like affiliated that have a lot of reach like pop alternative or MSS. And like, I wonder if that is going to be on, like, the minds of people when they have a product. Like, just, like, making a list and really going hard for those, you know, smaller blogs or smaller podcasts. Yeah. Totally. And we're, like, a web series, so we're online. So online press is good for us because mm -hmm. people who are watching online press are already online. So maybe they'd be more likely to watch our series. Yeah. And you're in the same mm -hmm. boat as us. Um, mm -hmm. We feel like we connect. It's fun chatting. And... Yeah, really, like we do have a publicist and he's the one that set up the eTalk interview, mm -hmm. which we were very excited about. Mm -hmm. But then for us, we're kind of reaching out to the podcasters and so bloggers. Yeah. 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 So yeah. We, we love chatting with all oh, you guys. Yeah. And so. there's so much value in it, I yeah. think, because you have you have an amazing following and yeah, you ask great questions. So yeah. we're lucky. <laughs> we love all it, yeah. it, it, it means a lot too and uh it it's something too that you know um me being canadian it's really awesome to feature a canadian web series i think that's really cool i think i'm really proud of that as well um and you're seeing a lot of big shows from canada doing a lot of big things we just had jared kiso from letter kenny on the show and they're doing some huge things and you know of course like i've had you know bernie Robo show and Jonathan Torrens on my show in the past or on Chiller Park Boys. So Canadian content, it's, 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 yeah. it's exciting stuff. And uh, so moving a little bit away from the show, I want to specifically talk about, um, I have questions specifically for both of you that have to do with your time away from my woman's an escort, um, my roommate's an escort. So Trish, I did creep your IMDB and I did see that you were in some horror movies in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I believe that uh, you just wrapped up one recently, right? And you might be going on a trip or something. Uh, yeah, so I'm going on a trip tomorrow. I actually get to fly with them to Sault Ste. Marie, my hometown. Mm -hmm. It's called The Void, and I played a ghost lady in it. Um, someone's dead wife. Uh, um, <laughs> As one you does. probably won't notice me much in the film, but it was a lot of fun to make. And I got covered in a lot of blood. I think that was cut, though. Um, okay. Anyways, it was great fun being on set for it, being around. All the, they had practical effects, so I got to be around monsters. And I got to go home and visit my family while it was being filmed. And um, I get to go home tomorrow and kind of surprise my family. So I'm excited. So, yeah, horror movies are a lot of fun. Yeah, big so blood. from a horror movie fan yeah. to someone who's been in horror movies, what's your favorite horror movie of all time? Carrie, the original. Oh wow, Carrie! Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. A lot of yeah. blood. A lot of blood. I I don't know what it is about that like the fake blood. I guess I'm I'm drawn to it. Maybe I have I don't know I don't know why, but I yeah really liked the blood in the bathtub scene in Carrie or the um yeah the bathtub scene and there's something about washrooms like or bathrooms in any film I love like near washroom scenes or like. Blood in washrooms, like this, the movie Psycho, the whole like shower scene with the knife. Oh, and I loved, um, oh, there's so many good horror movies. Oh, anyways, I could, I'll ramble. You know, it's funny. One of my favorite horror movies, and I love the, like, the original, but I just love the remake. And I think it was just, 
it just stays with me because that was like my years when I was like really young. The first couple years where I was allowed to go see horror movies. So I feel like it stayed with me. But like House of Wax with Alicia Cuthbert. Oh, that, yeah. that one I was... One starring Alicia Cuthbert and Paris Hilton. Yeah, it wasn't like, like the best movie, but I just love it. Like that's the type of movie. Like, it was oh, It was. It was terrifying. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I could talk horror movies all day. But Katie, I understand that you work um, in casting. Um, and I, just, I was just curious because that interests me. So um, what's something you could tell us about the casting sphere that people don't really know about? Um, like, for example, you're around it a lot. So you see a lot of casting directors, a lot of people coming in for auditions. You're an actress yourself. What are some, I mean, it, it, it's more than just, oh, come in, read lines, and oh, we'll let you know if you got the part. Like, what can you tell us about that? Because I'm interested. Yeah, it's cool to see as an actor, because um, I mostly work camera, but sometimes I work as a reader or direct commercial casting sessions. Um, and the main thing that I always say is that uh, it, it's made me realize how many talented actors there are. So. For any one-line role on a TV show, uh, a casting director will get ballpark 600 applicants or more, and out of that number, they bring in usually between 8 and 12 actors, and a lot of the time, every single actor that they bring in is very good. Wow. So it's made me realize just how competitive it is, and just because you don't get a role, it does not mean that you are not talented like actually doesn't at all you could be the most talented actor and just never get a part because you weren't exactly what they were looking for mm -hmm. so um yeah that was a big part of why we made this show just wanting to sort of you know guarantee guarantee ourselves some more complex roles yeah. not that they're like <laughs> the deepest characters <laughs> but we don't get opportunities to audition for big roles mm -hmm. very often so yeah. We wanted to, um, yeah, that process. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that answers the Interesting. question. I can't believe 600 people. That actually does yeah. surprise me. Even if, yeah. It's really, really sad. It I'm is. really glad we just made something on our own. Even if you do get an audition, like if you get an audition, you've already like won the lottery. Yeah. Like it's, it's crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. So. Um, so what about you? Do you do some acting as well? Um, it's funny because I def I was in a cinema video communications program in CGEP, so in Quebec, it's like pre-university. And I was in some classes with some people that did act, and some of my friends have been actors. So Jesse Camacho, um, who was in Less Than oh Kind. Oh, he's so nice. Yeah, he's he's amazing. great. And then Alex Harouche, who was in Degrassi. Oh, cool. He actually played. I don't know. Oh, I, know. I know who that is. I know who that is. I've seen him audition. He's really talented. Yeah, no, but I mean, I, I always thought about acting or doing like kind of honor. I mean, sometimes, you know, when I'm doing podcasts, I mean, I'm not acting, but it's on camera, right? So I, I did a lot of plays growing up. So, hey, season two, my roommate's an escort if you ever need an extra. You, know? <laughs> you got it. You. <laughs> That would, be, that would be awesome. That would you be cool. <laughs> that would be great. I would love to. I'm, I'm only in Ottawa, so I'm not that far from Toronto, so I'll be there for sure. And I understand that you're interested in um, making, like, continuing on with season two, but we talked about this like before we recorded too. And um, if the opportunity came to make it longer, because net, if you want to go on a bigger network, it has to be a bit longer. Do you think you'd be able to make it longer? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I think we could have a lot of fun with yeah. it. We make notes all the time. Yeah, like we, where we want the characters to go in yeah. the story. And we would probably like explore like Heather's day job and mm -hmm. just like, just have more fun, get more background on everybody. Yeah. And uh, yes, you know, like when Daddy and Kesha go shopping, we could see that. Yeah. As opposed to just happening mm -hmm. or being implied all the time. So yeah, longer format would be fun for us. Yeah, it would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, so I just thought of something too, because we will wrap up soon. Um, but I just thought of something. We're gonna play a game called Confirmed or Not Confirmed. So I'm gonna ask Ooh. you a bunch of questions that I just come up with. Um, and literally just came up with like four questions like right off the bat. Um, that you're gonna either say confirmed 
or not confirmed. And okay. you don't really have to give like um a, like a reason why it's confirmed or not, but I just want to know what you think. So and it could it could maybe be like a true or it's like confirmed or not confirmed, like true or false type thing. Those are the type of questions. Okay. All right. Confirmed or not confirmed? The name Kesha is named after the singer Kesha. Uh, <laughs> it is different if it's not spelled with a dollar sign, but she did inspire. Like, it's not yeah, based I on Kesha. We were like, like, we wanted like a name that was just a little unusual. <laughs> yeah, because it is her. Ad- it ends up not being her real name. It's her adopted so name that seemed. Yeah, we were discussing yeah. names that seemed like they weren't the person's real name. Or yeah, or just like we just wanted her to seem a little like just to, unusual. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it seems so long ago. I can't even like. I don't remember why we came up. With okay. Yeah. S- second question: Confirmed or not confirmed? Was there ever a time? where you were in pre-production and writing the scripts where your roles were reversed? Like Katie was going to play Heather or Trish was going to play Kesha, confirmed or not confirmed? Confirmed. Mm-hmm. We, wow. the longest time, we didn't know who was going to play who because we're both in real life Heather. Like, we're both Heather. <laughs> yeah, Trish is like, because <laughs> like, I'm from a small town as well. And, correct, um, in Ontario, correct? Yeah, yeah, and a lot of Heather's lines are things that actually, like, I say. Mm-hmm. So, there, and a lot of experiences that have also, like, yeah, we're both more like Heather than we are like Kesha. So, mm-hmm. it was, but then, yeah, we just had to choose, obviously, and then, yeah, we it ended up going this way. And uh, can't imagine it any other way. Yeah, yeah, I think it worked out all right. Mm-hmm. All yeah. Right. So- okay. I'm still Spot. wondering why those people ask me what if I was playing the escort. Yeah, people always ask Trish if she's the escort. Uh, I thought it would be you playing the escort. I'm like, yeah. And it's you're like, like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah. It's so like, is that, are you, what are you trying? Why? <laughs> yeah. Okay, and the final, final question. Confirmed or not confirmed that there's a rumor going around that Canadian podcaster Petey Beats might have a role in season two of my roommates and escort confirmed oh, yes confirmed confirmed as a rumor because I've never... <laughs> it's only, a rumor. <laughs> only a rumor well uh, girls um thank you so much for coming on the show i mean keep up the good work i mean three days in and the um the press and the exposure that you're getting from the show it's been fantastic and the numbers are great and I wish you nothing but the best. So basically, tell us everywhere we can watch the show. Like, give us all, like, the, the rundown. So the best place to go is www.myroommatesandescort.com. But yeah. we're also on social media. So on Twitter, you can find us at, at Escort Roommate. Mm-hmm. On Instagram, we're at My Roommates and Escort. Mm-hmm. And Facebook, you can just search My Roommates and Escort and you'll find our page. And you can email us if you'd like at uh, My Roommates and Escort Comedy at gmail.com. If you want to get in touch. Awesome. Well, <laughs> Trish, Katie, thank you so much. And we really appreciate you coming on the show. Yeah, it was fun. We love talking. So, and uh, yeah. we wish you all the best with your show. We really yeah. appreciate it. We, we just like talking about ourselves. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think I gave you that opportunity. So, thank you. That's fine. <laughs> awesome. Well, this, this has been Pop Trinity. We thank Trish and Katie from My Roommates and Escort for coming on. You can catch previous episodes of Pop Trinity on our YouTube page, on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play. We're everywhere. So, um, wherever you can find the show, watch it. We hope you enjoy this interview, and we hope you check out my roommates and escort on YouTube. Until next time, this is PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.